Senator David Gowan here. Welcome to another Gavel in with Gowan. It was another busy week at the Capitol. Governor Ducey signed a few great bills into law, and Arizona is going to see a lot of positive improvements. As you may be aware, I'm the chairman of the Appropriations Committee, and my primary role is to lead the budget negotiations for the Arizona State Senate. Since voters have entrusted me to represent them, I take my time analyzing where each and every dollar should go to ensure the money is used wisely and not wasted. So right now, we're working hard to ensure that everyone in our state benefits from this year's budget. Next, I'd like to bring your attention to a phenomenal program that gives second chances to Arizonans while helping to prevent disastrous wildfires. Through a partnership between the Department of Forestry and the Department of Corrections, state inmates are able to learn crucial job skills for post-sentencing employment by treating our state's land and wildfire. Over a two-year period, more than 700 inmates will address the need to remove fire-prone vegetation from Arizona communities. So far, 100 inmates completed their training to join the inaugural crew of the Arizona Healthy Force Initiative. Following their release, these graduates will use the essential skills learned to help them build better lives and contribute to our society in a meaningful way. This is tremendous success for Arizona as we create second chances for prisoners to help them become productive citizens when they return to society and help protect our state as we enter fire season. Another great bill that aims to protect victims of sexual assault that was just signed into law, Senate Bill 1593, sponsored by Senator Sina Kerr, prohibits a health care institution from charging any fees or issuing any bills to a patient as part of a medical or forensic interview or examination that's needed to secure evidence when a crime has been committed. This bill will ensure Arizona will defend our victims and remove any further obstacles they may face. Finally, I attended the House of Representatives joint session on Ukraine today. Counselor General Kushnitruk spoke with us about the current situation in Ukraine. My thoughts and prayers are with the people of Ukraine as they fight for their lives and the survival of their freedom and democracy for their generations to come. Thank you for watching and come back for more next week. Until then, I'm gaveling out.